What was your message to your teammates at the, at the end of practice? Um, you know, that's kind of between us, but uh, just to you know, enjoy your time, but uh, be ready to come back focused, ready to go. Will you peek at Seattle? Will you start to look at them? Already have. And that shoe you were wearing, are you going to continue to have to wear that? Or? Uh, it, it's a comfort thing. Um, it's, a, it's a one size bigger. So it's uh, my swollen foot fitting it a little bit better than my normal size shoe. So uh, we'll see as we move forward if my foot feels fine in a normal size shoe that I normally wear, then it won't have to. Is there any protection in there? There was a metal plate in the bottom as well. Is Antonio Brown just continue to even amaze you guys? Uh, not really, I guess. It kind of seems silly because we expect what he does every week. I think the most amazing thing was that front flip he did. Doesn't mean we like it, but it's pretty amazing. <laughs> um, you know, it's uh, it, it, it's hard for him to do anything anymore. That, that just you know we shake our heads about. I mean, like I said, that you know, I've said a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, that the biggest thing for me that makes me. Um, in awe is when he does something like drops a ball. That's that's a bigger deal than him making a great catch. Is uh, him working? He's working more out of the slot, right? Uh, um, a, lot a little bit more. Does that yeah, help to uh, trying to move him around a little bit. I think it helps because it makes defenses um, adjust to where he's going to be. Because we know the teams are trying to double him and keep an eye on him. And if we can move him around and uh, they double him the inside, then we get outside single Do you ever think that David Castro might be an option on one head in touchdown catches for you guys? <laughs> we had a little fun today. Um, you know, we wanted to see who had some of the best hands on the team, and David did pretty good. And considering everything you guys went through in the first half of the season, six and four, is it acceptable for you guys? Are you happy where you're at right now, considering? Well, um, you know, we. we Always want to be better, you know. We, we let some games get away from us, and we haven't won every one, and that's always our goal. But um, we have dealt, had a lot of injuries, and we've persevered through through them. But um, like I told the guys, the bye week is finally here, and uh, we're going to enjoy it. But we've got a, a really really tough stretch. And it's kind of the fourth quarter of the season that um, you know we're going to have to put our, our heads down and just go to work. Does that remind you of 08 at all? I know down the stretch where you play some really tough teams, end up beating them and getting to the Super Bowl. Any similarities? A little bit. I mean, we, uh, we're going to have to play our best football. And guys are going to have to continue to step up and step up even more. And uh, we just have to, to, to gel together as a team, keep gelling, and then keep trying to play our best football. Or is there more 05 uh, comparisons? You know, you you could probably draw comparisons to, to lots of seeds. I know people are talking about the wild card team, the seeds, and this and that. But it's one game at a time. You know, we know, and, and like I said, well, yes, we I've started looking at Seattle, but right now, let let us enjoy this time because it's it's long overdue. So it's not like Columbus coming to America. This game, right? <laughs> so we're gonna enjoy this. We need this time because we've got some guys that need to get ready to go because uh, you know we got a tough one next. Thanks. Thanks, All right, guys. Thank you. Have a good, have a good bye week, everybody. Yeah, I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss you guys.